This is Mr. Beck does your homework, AP Physics, homework 6.3, question number 10. A 2,150 kilogram car moving east at 11.68 meters per second collides with a 3,278 kilogram car moving north. So again, I've got car moving this way, I've got car moving this way. The cars stick together and move as a unit after the collision at an angle of 36.8 degrees north of east, so that would be since that's east and this is north, it's going to be north of east, so that's my theta, uh, at a speed of 5.78 meters per second. So I've got a velocity here of 5.78 meters per second, and I've got an angle of 36.8 degrees north of east. What was the speed of the 3278 kilogram car before the collision? That's this one, is 3278 kilograms uh, moving north, and I don't know the velocity. But this one I do, it's 2150 and it's moving at uh, 11.68 meters per second. So what I've got is I've got this combined wreckage moving up this way at a certain angle um, and it has some momentum. That momentum is made up of an X component which all comes from this car and a Y component that all comes from this car. So I don't even think I have to calculate this so much. All I need is my vertical component of this momentum in order to figure out this velocity because this is where the momentum comes from. So let's figure out this momentum. I have the total wreckage, so the total mass, the m total, is going to be my 2150 plus my 3278. So that's going to be my total mass. Um, and I know it's moving at 5.78 meters per second. Um, my 5.78 meters per second is at an angle, um, but I, let me get that momentum. So my momentum total is going to be my total mass times my combined velocity of uh, 5.78. So my P total is going to equal this mass times my velocity of 5.78, and that will give me uh, my total momentum. Well, that momentum is at an angle, so this is P total. So this one is this one. That's at an angle of 36.8 degrees. Well, if I want my Y component of that, then my momentum in the Y direction is going to be my P total times, that's an opposite, and the sine has to do opposite, so it's going to be P total times the sine of 36.8 degrees. So that will give me my momentum in the y direction. Where did that momentum come from? Well, it was this mass moving at some velocity. So if that's my momentum in the y direction, my momentum in the y direction is going to be the mass times the velocity, and the mass is 3278 for me. So my velocity is going to be my momentum in the y direction divided by the mass. It's going to be whatever I figured out right here divided by my mass of 3278 because that was the car going north and that will give me the speed that that car was going before the collision. Now if I wanted to check if U-Texas did this thing right, I could find my momentum total times the cosine of that angle. Hopefully that would give me this mass times this velocity.